and welcome to the Wild Animal Encounters series. Today I have a guest. He's going to be telling his stories. His name is Martin Archer. Now Martin is the type of person that is a hunter, a fisherman, and a trapper. He spent a lot of time in the forest. Now we're going to listen to a couple of his stories and I've got to preview them. They're pretty good. So sit back and enjoy. Wayne from Cole Craven Bushcraft is doing a series on animal encounters and uh, he's looking for people who've had animal encounters to share their stories so here's mine. I was out hunting one day I was up in my tree stand and I had my harness on and uh, I was pretty tired so I started you know nodding off and I thought I don't want to have to be trying to climb back up on my harness. So I came up the hill and I ended up resting on moss like this. The sun had come up and it was, I picked a spot that the, the sun was shining down on and laid on the moss and had a nap. And then all of a sudden, for some reason, I woke up and I look over and 10, maybe 15 yards away was a coyote looking at me. I only had my bow and I had my knife on me, but he wasn't close enough for that. So I started to string a bow and he started working his way around and he started running down along here. And then when he got up over here into the trees, he took off running. So nothing happened to me. Now, you know, had I been a deep sleeper, maybe I might have been lunch, but I don't really know. But uh, that's, that's my story. Another story I have, and if you don't believe me, I totally understand because I wouldn't believe it either. I took my son's camping, and I was with a buddy of mine, and we had gone up to where we were camping, and there was a stump there. And I was going to use the stump as a table, I was going to set some stuff on it, but it was cut at an angle, so I couldn't leave anything on it, so I took it off. And then we went to the, the lake, did some swimming, and on the way back, me and my buddy both smelled something funny. And uh, I looked at him, he looked at me, and he said, is that a bear? I said, well, it might be. It, it stinks. Couldn't see him. There were some pretty thick trees to our left. And uh, it has been documented that, you know, you can walk within 20 feet of a bear and not know he's there. He'll just lay down and wait till you're gone. So we put the boys between us and headed back up to camp. And then when we got to the camp, the tree stump that I was going to use as a, a table or a bench or whatever you want to call it, the bear had ripped a half of it off. It was a rotten stump obviously but he had ripped half of it off but he didn't bother us so we just went on our merry way and that was the end of it like I mentioned those stories are pretty good imagine waking up to a coyote not very far away you've got to realize coyotes are no puppy dogs they don't really even look like a dog they look kind of evil, you know, when they're staring down at you. It's a creepy feeling for sure. Then that bear, that bear tore up that stump just to say, hey, this is my territory. Sending them a message. Now you've got to remember with predators, that coyote knew he was bigger than him. If he didn't wake up, who knows? But, there's only one coyote. If there is more, it only takes one to move in on him. Now, with the bear, there is also, you know, a couple people there. A bear is not going to chance that unless the occasional bear might, but most of the time they will not. Predators all are very cautious, and they cannot afford to get hurt. 
they pick their battles very, very carefully because they have to be at the top of their game, physically fit and so on, to be able to kill every day to eat. A bear doesn't kill every day. He, you know, he eats a lot of plants and such as well. And even coyotes will eat berries and so on. But, they still, if they can't find what they need, they do kill. And, they have to be at the top of their game. So, every predator will pick and choose their fight. If there's a couple people there, usually you'll not have an encounter as often as if there's only one. If he sees you as an easy meal, that's when it's dangerous. Hope you enjoyed this, and thanks a lot, and there's more episodes to come. Thank you.